Okay, everyone, another spooky horror game. Let's get started. It's a text-based game that is going to be more experienced better with your eyes open. Let's see what happens. Start. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave outside the book. The reading process while I sleep has always been a struggle. Barking dogs, sirens, intrusive thoughts. I've never turned on my brain and process much sound. Today's odd, quiet, quiet. Too quiet. I felt restless. A sight veers towards the hallway outside the door. The distance between the room and the opposite wall is ten steps. I know this. I have a habit of counting ten when I go out. One, two, three. But always. I don't know why. Maybe just the wear of soundings, sounds smallest details, but tonight is different. The hallways always look stretched. Nothing more. I think this is my imagination. Can't be wrong this different about something going on. It's just a hallway, but I don't know what to look at. To get the breath, to close my eyes. In my room, there's a bed. In my room. There's a wardrobe in my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. In my room, part of myself, world known, back of my hand. There's someone below a photo could ask me and I would note the size difference as long as they're my eyes close makes no difference. In my room, I always can find a way to find a way. Because my room, I know everything looks. Okay. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to go to sleep. Hmm. What's the sound? Are those footsteps? No, that's impossible. That must be my imagination. They're getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They're gone, right. There's no one someone could be out there. No way. Ah, oh, there is somebody there. Hello. Hey. <laughs> okay, Open this is talking. Your eyes. Okay. No. No. Look at me. Nope. Why won't you look at me? Where are your manners? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Is that how it 
Aquarius. Oh, that's creepy. I will share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. No. So you I feel can like tell this is a trick. Look. But I'm also shy. So I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere. And soon you will forget. Like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. Feel like a joke? Don't be scared. Hey, how do you think my eyes look? When our cases finally meet, what will you find? Answer me. Broken, empty, lost. Yeah. A good end. 
answer. <laughs> Yet there is only one well. way to know the truth. Open your eyes. Nope. So you mm. won't look at me. Mm -mm. Even though your eyes are so pretty, I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Round like pearls and shiny like jewels. So, so pretty. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Nope. <laughs> it's fine. We still have time. The night is still and silent. Dude is creepy. I'm with doors, but as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. In my internal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable. Usually, it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me, the urge to be seen. So I search hard for a door that's open, for an entryway covered in darkness, and for someone to be at the other end, awake, as if expecting me. But you won't look at me, even though you had your door open for visitors. Why is that? Are you <laughs> afraid? I didn't have my door Do open for visitors. Scare you? No. Well, uh, yeah. That can't be it. We have been chatting for so long. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. So I'm certain <laughs> that if I were to reach out my hand, you would reciprocate. And grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm. Because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. Tired, dreadful, incomplete. Deceitful, incomplete.
<laughs> That's not creepy that either. Maybe so. Amidst my travels, I have lost more than I can imagine. I have left people behind. People who are my chat companions. Just like you are now. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. Things such as skin, or flesh, or bones, or anything that makes me, me, as farewell gifts, you could say. It sounds like an excuse. And that's because, because I am careless. Overly curious. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Like the crust of a tree. Or the surface of a frozen lake. But sometimes, I find something else. Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. And wonder, how does that feel? So I put my hands to the fire. It hurts, but I tolerate it and keep them there for long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates and the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. And okay. when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible but intoxicating feeling and I seek such extreme sensations. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. Other times, the fangs of a beast. Most times, okay. however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. And I would leave my hands there as I traverse along it, leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. The fire and the blades are friends. They have granted me times of great fun. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. But there's one thing I've always longed from these encounters. They're always... Waiting for him my to aunt. attack me. A good oh my gosh. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. No, I'm not opening my eyes. That's a new so you won't look at me. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. Oh. Can you hear it? My skin is pulsating. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world. Wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. I feel like I opened my eyes and I'm going to die. In this land and ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it, but it might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide 
fading into the dark. But you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Feel... Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good. I'm just waiting for their earth. Words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure, I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you Dude. finally take those bed sheets off your body. And you inspect every crevice of mine. That and you creepy. finally... Finally, finally, open those tight lips of yours to let me hear what I am. Oh and to maybe even give me a name. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Expression look like when well, that you more creepy. Okay. finally disappears. What will we convey to each other? Answer me. Okay, smile, grimace, stare. Uh, what a, a smile. Smile. Oh, that's there. It is. It's darling. <laughs> that may be so. <laughs> It would only make sense oh. for the end of this journey to bring me joy. It has oh, been boy. so, so long. I can no longer remember where it all began. But who's to say it had a beginning? Maybe the starting point is that faint memory. The earliest one I can recall. I was walking. And for some reason, it was daytime. Travel during the daytime, only when the fear of being seen isn't there. So I must have believed that was the case. But it's strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city, one full of people, I couldn't see them. But I knew they mm. were there, hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt, completely motionless silent, living in weight of their deaths, and what's more, none dared to look at me. Did they even know I was there? Maybe they did not care. All I remember is feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me, living in fear of what others might think, and who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go a walk that hasn't yet found its end. It's my earliest memory. And my most joyful one. No experience afterwards had made me want to smile more than that. So if you say I am smiling, then surely that's how it must be. 
But tonight, I'm not joyful. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Hey, have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face? When in reality, you're feeling anything but, have you? This expression mm. is this. My expression. Yeah. I see. There you go. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. One born out of honest gratitude. But there is one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you. Open your eyes. No, I feel like you're gonna kill me. No. No. I see. Understand. No, it's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before. So I have no right to ask for anything else. Here we go. Ever since I stepped into this room, you're gonna attack me. To engage with me. Not even once. Not even it's once. Gonna not happen. even once. Not it's even once. Happen. Not even once. Not even once. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Uh, not even great. once. Did you look at my face? You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. <laughs> Feigning oh ignorance and not moving oh an inch. Boy. At times making me believe that our conversation oh, was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know. I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. You too. <laughs> look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too are a liar. Who? The type that shows one thing and feels another. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression, they aren't mine. Maybe they are yours, but I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. Oh no. I didn't want to be judged. <laughs> I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm, I'm feeling like something's gonna attack me. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see mm -mm. me for what I truly am. You no. said so. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> no. in this room, you know how everything looks. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to. You have to do right. It is time. Open your open um, your eyes. New. No. You no. have a chance. It's not up to you anymore. 
Oh, great. You won't open your eyes. I will. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you're crushing me. Oh, no. Your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend. What do you see? Oh, great. Crushing my eyes? Oh no. It seems I did it again. You can't yeah, see you anymore, my eyes. right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? Then. Yep, you kill this me. Is very This piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that. Mm-hmm. There's something in my hand. Is it what they left? What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. <laughs> Ouch. I die or blind or whatever he did to me. No. Guys, that was open. Don't open my eyes. Uh, yeah, creepy little horror game. Short, sweet, to the point. So, thank you for watching. If you're new, keep on gaming. And will you open your eyes? Catch you next video. Peace, everybody. Yeah.